Chapter 91 Welcoming the new teacher you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 91 Welcoming the new teacher with Lin Yun's promise, Lin Qing didn't delay. He stayed for less than five minutes before leaving with Lin Yu. Other than smiling happily and thanking Lin Yun when she agreed to leave the song to her, Lin Yu didn't say anything else. After the two of them left, Lin Yun stood up from the wheelchair and walked towards the bed. Lin Qing only thought that Lin Yun could pass the preliminary round with this song, but he didn't think about what to do next. In any case, Lin Yun wouldn't provide Lin Yu with any more songs. Lin Yun believed that Luo Gang had already accepted her suggestion the last time. Once the competition rules changed, Lin Yu's wishful thinking would probably be in vain. Mom, what do you think of me wearing this dress to meet the new teacher? Lin Yu put on a limited edition dress that she had bought from the mall yesterday and turned around in front of Wang Lan. Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu with a smile. My daughter is beautiful. You're beautiful no matter what you wear. Lin Yu smiled even more happily. Mom is still the best. She bought me such a beautiful dress. Wang Lan gently grabbed Lin Yu's hand and said emotionally, I've made you suffer so much outside all these years. This is what I should do. Lin Yu listened to Wang Lan's words, but her eyes were checking the dress. Was this the legendary luxury dress? There was nothing much to the design. However, luxury was luxury. No matter how strange the design was, it was still a good thing. As Lin Yu fumbled with the slightly prickly fabric of her dress, her eyes were filled with smiles. Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu with heartache. Sigh, I can only give you the best now. I hope your future will be smooth. I will. Lin Yu looked up at Wang Lan with determination. That's right. Her life would definitely be the most brilliant and glorious. She wanted to let Lin Yun see the charm of the real daughter. She also wanted her to know that she had to pay a huge price for the time she had taken from her. A scheming look flashed across Lin Yu's eyes. However, she was very alert and did not let Wang Lan see it. Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu lovingly, as if her motherly love had been condensed at this moment. Just as the mother and daughter were deep in love, a discordant voice came from outside the door. Madam, Miss Xiaoyun is back. Wang Lan frowned and her expression turned ugly. Why is she back at this time? The person at the door seemed to be stunned for a moment before saying, she was discharged today. Because there was no driver to pick her up, she took a taxi back with Aunt Sue. Wang Lan snorted impatiently. Got it. Tell her to rest in her room since she's injured. Yes. The person outside replied and quickly left. Lin Yu gently held Wang Lan's hand and comforted her. Mom, sister only went in and out of the hospital a few times because of an accident. You don't have to worry too much. Wang Lan frowned, her heart filled with dissatisfaction with Lin Yun. Ever since Lin Yun was admitted to the hospital for her courageous act, she had to go to the hospital every few days. Now she had gotten food poisoning and got hospitalized again. Fortunately, she was not at home these few days, so Wang Lan's mood was much better. Who knew that she would choose this day to come back? What a dampener! The more Wang Lan thought about it, the angrier she became. She gritted her teeth and said, Xiaoyu, go out with me and prepare to welcome the new teacher. Lin Yu quickly stood up and held Wang Lan's arm as she walked out. The two of them arrived at the hall. Soon, they heard the sound of a car outside. Lin Yu was instantly excited. She heard that the songwriter of the world.renowned band that Lin Cheng had found for her was a famous figure in the industry. Dot even if such a person didn't use her repertoire, her fame alone was enough to make those judges and judges give her the green light. Lin Yu kept glancing at the door, wishing she could rush out to see who it was. However, Wang Lan repeatedly warned her not to let others see her emotions. Lin Yu tried her best to suppress her agitated emotions until she heard footsteps outside the door. The butler came in with a woman in high heels. 
Wang Lan and Lin Yu stood up and slowly walked towards her. The woman was dressed in an androgynous outfit. Her checkered suit and neat short hair made her look exceptionally capable. Chapter 92 Parting ways unhappily you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 92 Parting ways unhappily Lin Yu couldn't help but feel a little discouraged when she saw the woman's outfit. Not to mention the woman's gender.neutral outfit, just her distant attitude made her feel very uncomfortable. She was here to teach the daughter of the Lin family. Why was she putting on airs? Even if she was at the top of the industry, could she be richer than the Lin family? Lin Yu didn't know who the other party's arrogant attitude was for, so she lost interest. Wan Lan didn't notice Lin Yu's reaction. She walked forward with a smile and shook hands with the other party gracefully. Is this teacher Ji Ro? Hello. Ji Ro nodded at Wan Lan and retracted her hand. Lin Yu's impression of Ji Ro went down a few notches. Wan Lan turned around and instructed Lin Yu, Xiao Yu, come and greet teacher Ji Ro. Lin Yu took a step forward and nodded at Ji Ro. Hello, teacher Ji Ro. Lin Yu's obvious perfunctory attitude made Ji Ro's eyes move slightly, but she did not show it. Wan Lan also noticed Lin Yu's rudeness and quickly helped her out. Teacher Ji Ro, come and sit inside. Ji Ro followed Wan Lan to the living room and the three of them sat down on the sofa. Wan Lan exchanged a few pleasantries with Ji Ro and wanted to let Lin Yu take over the engagement. After all, Lin Yu would be learning from Ji Ro in the future. The two of them had to communicate more and interact more. Ji Ro had heard of Lin Yu before. It was said that this young lady had just been brought back to the Lin family. There was no way to check on her previous life experience. It was as if she had appeared out of thin air. Ji Ro was originally not interested in such a person. If her eldest brother, Ji Zhen, had not been nagging at her for a week, she would not have wanted to cause trouble for herself. At the moment, Lin Yu didn't seem to be very satisfied with her as a teacher. This was good too. If she could reject her directly, Ji Ro would save herself the trouble. Lin Yu sized Ji Ro up and her expression became suspicious. Ji Ro didn't look much older than her. Was she really a songstress of a famous band? Lin Yu frowned and asked directly, Has teacher Ji Ro made any famous songs? Can you share them? Hearing Lin Yu's question, Wang Lan couldn't help but frown. She gently tugged at Lin Yu's hand and lowered her voice. Your father naturally had his reasons for finding teacher Ji Ro. Teacher Ji Ro must have real talent. Xiao Yu, you can't do this. It's rude, Wan Lan finally spoke her mind. Lin Yu didn't care and only smiled innocently. I have to be more familiar with teacher Ji Ro. So, if teacher Ji Ro tells me her main work, I can study it carefully. Hearing Lin Yu's reasonable explanation, Wang Lan even nodded in agreement. Ji Ro smiled knowingly. Miss Lin, if you don't trust me, you can communicate with your father and find someone else. Ji Ro stood up to leave. Wang Lan realized that something was wrong and quickly stopped her. Teacher Ji Ro, don't be angry. The little girl is insensible. Look, where should we start learning today? Wan Lan did not dare to let Ji Ro leave just like that. Otherwise, Lin Cheng would definitely fly into a rage. Ji Ro stood rooted to the ground and looked at Lin Yu before turning to Wan Lan. If Miss Lin doesn't trust me, you won't be willing to learn from me. Mr. Lin sent me an invitation. I believe he did some research. Why don't we talk about Miss Lin's questions after we ask Mr. Lin? We'll contact each other later. With that, Ji Ro walked around the sofa and left quickly. The butler stood at the side and looked at Ji Ro, then at Wang Lan, not knowing if he should stop her. Seeing Ji Ro leave decisively, Wang Lan didn't know what to do. Lin Yu pouted and said, You can't even discuss your own work. Do you really think you're a master? Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu helplessly. You. 
let's see how you explain it to your father later. At the mention of Lin Cheng, Lin Yu was stunned. Her sense of superiority had just risen, but she had offended her teacher. Lin Cheng would definitely be furious. Chapter 93 Lin Cheng's Anger You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 93 Lin Cheng's Anger When Lin Cheng returned home, he heard that Ji Ro didn't stay at home for long before leaving, so he didn't think too much about it. After dinner, Lin Cheng called Lin Yu into the study to ask about her class. This time, Lin Yu made her preemptive strike by saying that Ji Ro was not sincere in teaching her. Dad, you didn't see her arrogant attitude at that time. I just wanted to ask her about her famous songs so that I could learn them. Who knew that she actually looked disdainful and refused to tell me? When Lin Cheng heard this, he immediately stood up from his chair. He tried his best to suppress his anger and took a few deep breaths before gradually calming down. Can't you even respect your teacher? Did I use my connections to contact teacher Ji Ro just to have her leave like that? Lin Yu muttered indignantly, I didn't anger her. She didn't respect me either. Lin Yu said confidently, no longer as timid as when she first returned to the Lin family. Lin Qing frowned and looked at Lin Yu, not knowing what to say. Lin Yu looked at Lin Cheng with an aggrieved expression, not understanding why Lin Cheng would stand on the side of an outsider. She didn't know that Lin Cheng already knew about her background, so she brazenly framed Ji Ro. Dot, not only does she not respect me, even mom, besides, she also, Lin Yu continued to chatter, but Lin Cheng felt that his head was about to explode from anger. He suddenly growled, enough. Get out. Lin Yu was stunned and stayed on the spot. Seeing that Lin Yu didn't move, Lin Cheng raised his voice and roared again, Get out. Only then did Lin Yu react. She hurriedly turned around and ran out of the study. Wang Lan was already waiting outside the door worriedly. When she heard Lin Cheng's roar, she became even more worried. In the next moment, Lin Yu ran out with an aggrieved expression before she was stopped by Wang Lan. At this moment, tears streamed down Lin Yu's face. Mom, Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu with heartache. She knew that Lin Cheng had scolded her and wanted to coax her, but she didn't know what to say. Wang Lan held Lin Yu's hand helplessly and brought her back to her room. Lin Yu wiped her tears and gritted her teeth. Lin Cheng was too much. He actually shouted at her because of an ignorant music teacher. The more Lin Yu thought about it, the more aggrieved she felt. She thought to herself that if it were Lin Yun, she would probably never have encountered such a situation. Wang Lan gave Lin Yu an idea. Your father must have spent a lot of effort to invite teacher Ji Ro. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so angry. Why don't I accompany you to visit teacher Ji Ro tomorrow so that she can continue to guide you? Wang Lan's words made Lin Yu furious, but she couldn't vent it out just like that. She lowered her eyelids slightly, and for a moment there was no life in her. Wang Lan gently placed a hand on Lin Yu's back. Don't worry about your father. As long as we can contact teacher Ji Ro, he won't be angry with you. After all, you're his daughter. He won't really be angry with you. Wang Lan thought that she understood very well, but Lin Yu's eyes flashed with coldness. Lin Yu lowered her head and remained silent. After a long time, she raised her wet eyes. Mom, did I do something wrong? Seeing Lin Yu's aggrieved expression, Wang Lan's heart ached even more. You did nothing wrong. Wang Lan looked at Lin Yu firmly. It's their fault. Don't worry. Mom will definitely help you resolve this matter. Wang Lan thought for a moment before saying, wait at home. Mom will definitely help you settle Ji Ro tomorrow. Hearing Wang Lan's words, Lin Yu whimpered and fell into Wang Lan's arms. Mom. Thank you. Lin Yu sounded aggrieved, but she had a smug smile on her lips. Lin Yun leaned against the bed with her laptop on her lap. She typed on the computer keyboard. Soon, Ji Ro's information appeared on Lin Yun's screen. The young daughter of the Ji family, 
the person in charge of the legal department of the G Group. Lin Yun looked at the simple content of the information and felt a little strange. G Rose resume did not seem to have anything to do with music. Why would Lin Cheng choose such a person to guide Lin Yu? Chapter 94 the Mysterious Roland You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 94 The Mysterious Roland In her previous life, Lin Yun had never seen Ji Ro, so she didn't know her at all. At that time, Lin Yun had accompanied Lin Yu from the preliminaries to the finals. All of Lin Yu's participating songs and preparations were done by Lin Yun. But this time, Lin Yun's rejection forced Lin Cheng to choose someone else. However, Lin Qing valued this competition very much. It was impossible for him to easily hand Lin Yu over to an inexperienced person. Or rather, Lin Yun raised her eyebrows and started typing on the keyboard again. After a while, a gray dialog box popped up. Lin Yun finally revealed a satisfied smile. I see. In the gray dialog box, Ji Ro's name changed to another name, Roland. And this Roland was a musical genius. Not only had she won many awards at home and abroad, but she was also a good singer. However, she never showed her true face, so many people did not know her true identity. However, how Lin Cheng invited such a mysterious teacher to teach Lin Yu surprised Lin Yun. It seemed that Lin Cheng had invested a lot to nurture Lin Yu into a talent. However, according to what Lin Yun heard in the room today, Lin Yu was most likely not interested in this unknown teacher. Lin Yun closed the computer and lay on the bed. If we really ask Ji Ro to hand Lin Yu over, I'm afraid this will be difficult. Lin Yun knew very well that Lin Cheng and Wang Lan would retain Ji Ro at all costs. The next morning, Wang Lan set off with gifts to visit teacher Ji Ro. Ji Ro was originally unwilling. But after Ji Zhen's repeated persuasion, she agreed to meet Wang Lan at the Ji family's building in the city center. Ji Ro was the head of the Ji family's legal department. When Wang Lan arrived at the Ji clan building, she was led to the legal department on the 12th floor by the receptionist. The moment she entered, Wang Lan's body subconsciously tensed up. She didn't know if it was because the black decor made her feel a little nervous or if the almost empty place made her feel a little uncomfortable. When they arrived at Ji Ro's office, Wang Lan asked Auntie Ning to put down the gift. Teacher Ji Ro, I'm really sorry about yesterday. My daughter is still young and insensible. Wang Lan smiled apologetically at Ji Ro, looking like she was being careful with her words. Ji Ro was not particularly enthusiastic. Instead, she stood beside her office chair and gestured to Wang Lan. Madam Lin, please sit. Wang Lan retracted her hand awkwardly and took two steps back to sit on the guest chair at the other end of the desk. Ji Ro was dressed in a black suit and a pure dot-colored shirt. She looked capable and steady, which was very different from her style of dressing the day before. Wang Lan did not expect Ji Ro to be in such a state in her life. She secretly wondered if Ji Ro had the ability to teach Lin Yu well. However, since it was a teacher hired by Lin Cheng, he must have thought it through. Wang Lan held her hand tightly before she smiled again. Teacher Ji Ro, I hope you don't mind my daughter's rude words yesterday. She's just a little curious about you and wants to ask about your work so that she can admire and understand it when she goes back. But this child doesn't know how to speak. She unknowingly offended you. I hope you can be magnanimous and forgive her. Ji Ro frowned slightly and glanced at Wang Lan before saying, she's still a child. Perhaps she shouldn't participate in such an official competition. If she's not prepared to accept that the people around her can become her teachers, then she might not be qualified to survive in this circle. Perhaps Madam Lin can go back and get her to make more preparations. Hearing Ji Ro's words, Wang Lan immediately felt angry. Dot however, she did not dare to openly go against Ji Ro, so she could only lower her head and say obediently, yes, yes, yes. Teacher Ji Ro is right. It's just that the time for the competition is almost up. 
I hope that teacher Ji Ro can put in more effort on account of my husband. Hearing Wang Lan mention Lin Cheng, Ji Ro frowned again. She didn't know what her idiotic brother owed Lin Cheng for him to pester her for three days to become Lin Yu's teacher. Chapter 95 Debut Banquet, 1, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 95 Debut Banquet, 1, Although Wang Lan was unwilling, she still reluctantly begged Ji Ro. Ji Ro was unhappy, but because she had promised her brother, she could only agree perfunctorily. Just like that, Ji Ro nodded and agreed to become Lin Yu's music teacher. The class schedule was also fixed. Dot after Lin Cheng heard that Lin Yu was attending class normally, his mood seemed to have improved. Ever since Lin Yu started class, the piano room had become her exclusive room. Lin Yun didn't want to enter the piano room again, so she planned to pack her belongings and leave the piano room completely to Lin Yu. Lin Yun was walking out with a few small musical instruments that had been given to her. However, Lin Yu crossed her arms and leaned against the door, looking at her with a faint smile. Sister, what are you doing? Lin Yu asked sarcastically. Lin Yun revealed a faint smile. These are my personal belongings. Lin Yun made it sound simple, but Lin Yu snorted unhappily. Which one of these aren't bought by dad and mom? Which item doesn't belong to the Lin family? Even the medals you won were obtained by mom and dad. Lin Yu said confidently, her tone filled with jealousy. Lin Yun smiled and looked at Lin Yu. I didn't intend to take those medals. They're still there, aren't they? If you think it's what mom and dad paid for, then so be it. I don't care. As for these, Lin Yun looked down at the instruments in her arms. I'm sorry, these are indeed my personal belongings. They are gifts from my friends and have nothing to do with the Lin family. Lin Yun said simply without the slightest bit of humility or cowardice. Her self-righteousness made Lin Yu speechless. If Lin Yun had spent the Lin family's money to buy or obtain something, it naturally belonged to the Lin family. But these. Although Lin Yu was unwilling, she could only watch as Lin Yun took those things away. Lin Yun returned to her room and placed these things in her cabinet. This home was no longer a place she was familiar with. Therefore, she organized her things and prepared to leave at any time. When Aunt Su walked into the room, she happened to see Lin Yun packing her things. Miss, you are, Aunt Su looked at Lin Yun in surprise as she put the instruments into the box one by one. Lin Yun smiled at Aunt Su and comforted her. The piano room is now used by Lin Yu. I want to take these instruments back and keep them for myself. Aunt Su nodded in understanding and didn't ask further. After helping Lin Yun organize her things, Aunt Su said softly, On my way here, I heard Madam and Master discussing holding a banquet for Miss Xiaoyu. He said that he wanted Miss Lin Yu to be known and familiar with everyone faster. He didn't mean what he wanted. When Lin Yun heard this, she knew what Lin Cheng and his wife were planning. In their previous life, they used Lin Yun's reputation to pave the way for Lin Yu to fight her way to the finals and win the championship. At that time, they held a debut banquet and officially introduced Lin Yu to the media and the various families. With the support of the competition champion, Lin Yu quickly became famous in the noble circle. This time, without Lin Yun's support, Ji Ro could not let Lin Yu use Roland's reputation to mingle in the industry. In other words, the outcome of Lin Yu's competition was still uncertain. Instead, Lin Yu would need to rely on the Lin family's reputation to survive in the competition. Has the date of the banquet been decided? Lin Yun asked casually. I heard it's on the 18th of next month. Aunt Su picked up a huge object and was about to put it into the cabinet. Lin Yun quickly reached out to stop him. Leave this to me. Aunt Su grinned and bent down to put the things down. She was old and it was difficult to move many things. She could only receive such treatment with Lin Yun. As for the rest of the Lin family. Sigh. 
Lin Yun put the things away and thought about it. She remembered that the 18th was the day of the new Masked King competition. Wasn't Lin Cheng announcing to the world that his daughter had participated in the competition and asking everyone to support her? In particular, the results of the competition would be announced three days later. In other words, Lin Cheng was giving the judges a chance to choose. Lin Yun sneered and shook her head. Chapter 96 The competition that was about to begin you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 96 the competition that was about to begin Aunt Sue looked at Lin Yun's expression and couldn't help but ask, Miss, why aren't you participating in this competition? If you participate, it will be better than, before Aunt Sue could finish, Lin Yun stopped her. Aunt Sue, some things are better left unsaid. Lin Yun reminded her cautiously, and Aunt Sue reflexively covered her mouth. She smiled bitterly. Miss, you're really too pitiful. Lin Yun smiled and said, I think this is pretty good. I don't owe the Lin family anything. When I leave, leave. Aunt Su whispered again. Miss, you mean, Lin Yun shook her head and gestured for Aunt Su to keep quiet. I'll have to leave sooner or later, right? It's just that I hope to not owe the Lin family anything, this is probably the beginning of my freedom. After Lin Yun finished speaking, she sighed slightly. It was because of those so dot called kinship and kindness that her previous life was extremely tragic. She would never let these things happen again. Absolutely. Although Lin Yu's music class was reluctantly conducted, Ji Ro was indeed a good and responsible teacher. She did her best to impart her knowledge to Lin Yu, but Lin Yu did not have any talent in music. It was already not bad for her to learn a tenth of what she could teach. While they were studying, it was soon time for the competition to start. The competition format had been adjusted at the last minute during the promotional period of the competition. All the contestants' choice of songs had been changed to fixed songs chosen by the competition team after the preliminaries. This way, it brought a huge shock to many contestants who were looking for experts to write songs. Fortunately, the change in the competition format had been notified two weeks in advance, so it was not too sudden for the contestants. Lin Yu had Lin Yun's song in her hands, and the competition rules were arranged by the production team, so it saved Ji Ro a lot of trouble. However, this way, the targeted training would become uncertain content training. Lin Yu always appeared humble and meek in class. Every time, she would express her grievances and pain vividly. Wan Lan's heart ached when she saw this. She even asked Ji Ro several times to make the content of the class simpler. However, Ji Ro knew very well that Lin Yu was just pretending. She seemed to be paying attention in class every time, but in fact, her mind had already flown out of her head. Although Ji Ro felt disgusted by Lin Yu's state, she was helpless. Anyway, she had only promised her brother to teach Lin Yu from before the competition until the end. Although it was difficult for Lin Yu to stand out in the competition in her current state, she did not intend to let the outside world know that Lin Yu was Master Roland's disciple. It was good for the two of them to have such a short interaction. Dot on this day, Ji Ro walked out of the piano room and twisted her stiff neck. Teaching Lin Yu was simply a disaster. Fortunately, the competition would start tomorrow, and the day of her release was right in front of her. Suddenly, a familiar melody sounded from the room upstairs. The tune was melodious, and the few notes that jumped around from time to time made the song more lively. Ji Ro listened to the music in a daze and subconsciously walked upstairs. Just as she was about to reach the second floor, a voice sounded from behind her. Teacher Ji, where are you going? The door is this way, Lin Yu stretched and walked out of the piano room. She realized that Ji Ro had not left and was even walking upstairs. She subconsciously called out to her. Ji Ro stopped in her tracks and looked at Lin Yu. Who's upstairs? Who played this song? When Lin Yu heard this question, her eyebrows furrowed. 
She did not want to answer Ji Ro's question and hated Lin Yun even more for suddenly appearing at this moment. Didn't she know that today was the day Ji Ro came to teach her? Why did she have to play at this time? Was she deliberately trying to embarrass her? Or was she trying to use her performance to attract Ji Ro's attention? What was her motive? Lin Yu quickly waved her hand and smiled at Ji Ro. Teacher Ji, my sister is listening to a music record. Come. I'll send you out. Lin Yu said as she walked to Ji Ro's side. Ji Ro was stunned. She looked at Lin Yu and her lips slowly curled up. Chapter 97 Lin Yun's Trick You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 97 Lin Yun's trick what came out of the room was clearly not a record. To think that Lin Yu actually couldn't tell the difference between a live performance and a record. Furthermore, could she not even tell that this was not the original song? Ji Ro frowned slightly and glanced at the room where the music was coming from, but she did not go over rashly. After all, this was the Lin family. Even if she didn't have a good impression of Lin Yu, it wasn't appropriate for her to barge in. Ji Ro followed Lin Yu's directions and walked towards the door. However, when Lin Yu took the last step, she glared fiercely at the room upstairs. Lin Yun, why are you pretending at a time like this? I want to see what else you can do after Ji Ro leaves. In the room, Lin Yun pressed the button to stop the recording and sent the document out. Will this adaptation be better? Lin Yun was entering Chinese characters in the dialogue box and she saw a pop-dot-up window flashing on the other side. Lin Yun opened the chat box. It was a message from Kent. Lin, I will be in Haiching soon. I hope we can meet. Lin Yun looked at Kent's message in surprise and immediately replied, Really? That's great. What time is your arrival? I'll pick you up. A series of messages were sent and Kent immediately replied with a big smiley face. 7 o'clock on the evening of the 18th. I hope to see you soon. Lin Yun also replied with a smile. Okay. See you at the airport. After replying to Kent's message, Lin Yun's music echoed. The other party replied briefly, collected. I'll contact you later. Lin Yun shrugged nonchalantly and closed the computer. She stood up and walked to the window, just in time to see Lin Yu walking out with Ji Ro. Ji Ro, Lin Yun called out faintly. It was unknown if Ji Ro heard it or for some reason. Ji Ro turned around and glanced at the second floor. However, because she did not know where the room was, she only glanced momentarily before turning around and getting into the car. Lin Yun smiled. What a sharp person Binov Kam, CEO Lu, the Lin family has sent an invitation. On the 18th, they invited all the families to attend Miss Lin Yu's debut party. Ning Kuen held an invitation and walked into Lu Chen's office. Lu Chen did not even look at the invitation letter. He only lowered his head and buried his head in his document. Ning Kuen stood where he was and hesitated for a while before asking, if you don't want to participate, I'll go back. After all, this is the Lin family's banquet. Miss Lin Yun might even appear, Ning Kuen muttered. Stay. Lu Chen did not look up, but said in a low voice. Ning Kuen smiled smugly and placed the invitation on Lu Chen's table. Lu Chen was still working. Ning Kuen stood rooted to the ground. Without CEO Lu's instructions, he did not dare to move at all. After a while, Lu Chen said again, what has Fu Heng been busy with recently? Ning Kuen was stunned for a moment before saying, didn't you ask Mr. Fu to send Miss Tan back last time? He was severely punished by the old master. He seems to be doing community work with some tribe in Africa. Lu Chen looked up at Ning Kuen. Ning Kuen immediately lowered his head as if he had done something wrong. Tell him to come back immediately and accompany me to the Lin family's banquet, Lu Chen instructed. Then, he lowered his head and looked at the document in his hand again. 
Ning Kuan immediately responded and turned to leave. When the door closed, Lu Chen slowly raised his head and looked at the invitation. Lin Yun. Lin Yu, Lu Chen muttered to himself. Then, he lowered his head again. It was as though it was another person. Ning Kuan made a call to Fu Heng. Fu Heng almost cried on the phone. Can I finally go back? God have mercy. Ning Kuan held back his laughter and said after a long time, I believe old master won't have any objections to CEO Lu's instructions. Fu Heng immediately cheered and said in a low voice, I'll go pack my things now. See you at third brother's house later. Before Ning Kuan could say anything else, Fu Heng had already hung up. Hearing the beeping sound from the phone, Ning Kuan deeply felt Fu Heng's urgency. It seemed that the baptism in Africa had enlightened Mr. Fu. This time, he might be reborn. Chapter 98 50 million you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 98 50 million not long after Lin Yu sent Ji Ro away, she came to Wang Lan's room. Mom, are you busy? Lin Yu knocked gently on the door. Wang Lan had just hung up on Mrs. Chen when she stood up and went to the door to open it. Xiao Yu, come in. Why are you still knocking? Wang Lan said as she held Lin Yu's hand and walked into the room. Mom, I have something to ask of you, Lin Yu said to Wang Lan shyly as soon as she sat down. Wang Lan's face was filled with a loving smile. If there's anything, just tell me. I'll definitely help you. Lin Yu lowered her head slightly, a cunning glint flashing across her eyes. She raised her head again and returned to her previous weak appearance. Mom, a few of my friends have encountered something recently. I want, Lin Yu hesitated, not knowing how to start. You want to help them. Wang Lan guessed. Lin Yu hesitated and nodded nervously. Just, to give them some money. When Wang Lan heard this, a deep smile appeared on her face. I thought it was something serious. If it's anything else, Mom might not be able to agree to it, but as for the money, tell Mom how much you need. Lin Yu twisted her hands together as if she was conflicted and nervous. Wang Lan could tell that something was wrong with Lin Yu and asked tentatively, Do you need a lot of money? Lin Yu nodded slightly. How much do you need? Wang Lan asked again. For some reason, Lin Yu's reaction made Wang Lan nervous. Fifty million. Lin Yu's voice was like a mosquito. Wang Lan almost thought that she had heard wrongly. What did you just say? Wang Lan probed again. Fifty million. This time, Lin Yu finally raised her voice. However, Wang Lan couldn't help but widen her eyes. Why do you need so much money? What happened to your friend? Lin Yu frowned, clearly dissatisfied with Wang Lan's reaction. Lin Yu had already investigated the Lin family. A mere 50 million was nothing to the Lin family. She did not expect that she could scare Wang Lan to this extent just by asking for such a small sum of money. Seeing that Lin Yu didn't speak, Wang Lan guessed that Lin Yu had encountered some trouble. She grabbed Lin Yu's arm with both hands and said earnestly, Xiao Yu, if you're in any trouble, you must tell Mom the truth. Don't be afraid. I will definitely think of a way to help you resolve it. Wang Lan said solemnly. She was already planning to use her police connections to help Lin Yu settle the problem. Lin Yu chuckled and shook her head. No, my friend is really in some trouble. She thought that I had returned to the Lin family, so she came to me for help. Wang Lan lowered her head slightly, not knowing what to do. Although 50 million wasn't a huge sum to the Lin family, however, the Lin family's assets had always been in Lin Cheng's hands. It was impossible for Wang Lan to take out 50 million at once. If she went to ask Lin Cheng, she would definitely be scolded. Just as Wang Lan was thinking about how to help Lin Yu resolve this problem, Lin Yu started crying. Wang Lan panicked. Xiao Yu, what's wrong? Don't scare mom. Lin Yu sobbed. 
After a long time, she said, my friends met a swindler when they invested, then, did you call the police? Do you need mom to help you find the police? Wan Lan immediately asked with concern. Lin Yu shook her head before continuing, they've already called the police, but they won't be able to retrieve the money for a while. I urgently need money now, so, Lin Yu started crying again. Wan Lan's heart ached when she saw this. Although she hesitated, she still nodded. Okay. Mom will help you think of a way. After receiving Wang Lan's promise, Lin Yu reached out her hands and hugged Wang Lan. Mom, I know you are the best. Lin Yu placed her chin on Wang Lan's shoulder, but her lips curled into a smile. Bed o dem Wang Lan didn't suspect anything and continued to pat Lin Yu's back, trying to comfort her. I'll invite celebrities from all walks of life to the banquet on the 18th. Lin Cheng did not forget to instruct everyone on what to pay attention to at the dining table. Xiaoyu, you have to perform well in your competition. Don't embarrass me, understand? Lin Cheng said with some dissatisfaction. Lin Yu could hear the doubt in Lin Cheng's tone. Although she was indignant, she still nodded and smiled. Dad, don't worry. Chapter 99 Best Song You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 99 Best Song Seeing that Lin Yu was still sensible, Lin Qing didn't say anything else. He turned to look at Lin Yun. Xiao Yun, you, before Lin Qing could finish, Lin Yun had already said, Dad, I have something on that day, so I might not be able to attend the banquet. Hearing Lin Yun's words, Lin Cheng heaved a sigh of relief. He nodded before saying, yes, that's the only way. Lin Yun lowered her head slightly and drank the soup in her bowl with a cold smile. Wang Lan had a troubled look on her face. When Lin Cheng saw this, he frowned but did not ask. After the meal, Lin Yun returned to her room. As soon as he entered the room, she saw the message in the dialog box flashing on the computer on the table. It seemed that there was a reply to the message she was waiting for. She clicked on the message and saw that it was indeed the result she had been looking forward to. A deep smile appeared on Lin Yun's face. According to the other party, she also sent over the original songs she had adapted. Soon, there was an answer. Lin Yun smiled again. This efficiency is much higher than the last time. Lin Yun looked at the message the other party entered in the dialogue box and hesitated. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow was the 18th. What a busy day. However, to Lin Yun, other than the fact that it might affect her trip to the airport at night, there seemed to be no other issues. Lin Yun quickly typed in the dialogue box. Okay. See you tomorrow. After settling the matter, Lin Yun stood up and wanted to go to the kitchen to get something to drink. At this moment, she heard a sound coming from the piano room. Lin Yun was stunned for a moment before she subconsciously walked towards the piano room. She had just taken a few steps when Lin Yun heard a roar from the piano room. The piano room was very soundproof to begin with. To be able to hear the roar through the door, one could imagine the situation inside. Lin Yu's voice came from inside. Do you not understand what I'm saying? How many times have I told you? I will definitely get the money. Don't just rush me all day. Those two old fellows refused to pay immediately. What could I do? All right. Stop talking. Anyway, I'll transfer the money to you as soon as possible. Dot, remember. After receiving the money, shut your mouth tightly. Let me hear any rumors and I'll make you disappear from this world. Lin Yu's threats came one after another. Lin Yun was dumbfounded. Although she knew that Lin Yu was not a good person, this was the first time she had heard someone threaten her so vividly. Hearing the call end, Lin Yun immediately turned around and left. Lin Yun arrived at the kitchen and had just taken out a bottle of milk from the fridge when she saw Lin Yu walk out of the piano room. The kitchen and the piano room were only half a corridor away. Lin Yu glanced at Lin Yun and was stunned. 
she recalled what she had just said and was worried that Lin Yun had heard it. However, Lin Yun pretended to be fine. She glanced at Lin Yu and walked towards her room with the cup of milk. Lin Yu watched Lin Yun leave. Although she was suspicious, she didn't ask. Lin Yun returned to her room and closed the door before taking a deep breath. From Lin Yu's words just now, she was probably planning to ask the Lin couple for a sum of money. As for what it was, Lin Yun smiled and turned on her computer. Since the preliminary preparations for the newly promoted Masked King competition were not sufficient and the publicity was not particularly lively, there were not many spectators in the preliminary round. The contestants who participated in the competition either had connections or were in this industry. There were even fewer ordinary contestants. In other words, these people all had similar strength. The only person who wasn't quite strong was probably Lin Yu. However, Lin Yu had Lin Cheng backing her up, so she wouldn't be eliminated in the first round. However, to the surprise of all the judges, Lin Yu's first self-selected song, Ask, shocked everyone. No one expected Lin Yu to be able to break through the siege with such a song. No one dared to believe that the real daughter of the Lin family, who had just been found, actually had music talent that was not inferior to the fake daughter, Lin Yun. This Lin family was really full of hidden talents. It was too terrifying. Without a doubt, Lin Yu passed the preliminaries with Ask and even won the best song in the preliminaries. Chapter 100 Pick up you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 100 Pick up, Lin. A gentle female voice sounded from behind Lin Yun. Lin Yun stood up and looked at the person, who had a confident smile on her face. Hello, Roland. Nice to meet you. I'm Lin. Lin Yun smiled and extended her hand to Ji Ro. Ji Ro gently held Lin Yun's hand and said, I didn't expect Lin Yun to be the eldest daughter of the Lin family. Lin Yun shook her head and gestured for Ji Ro to sit down. I don't think I'm the eldest daughter of the Lin family anymore. The eldest daughter of the Lin family is someone else, Lin Yun said meaningfully. Ji Ro thought of Lin Yu's appearance and frowned, but she still nodded. Lin Yun asked curiously, but do you know me? Ji Ro smiled and said, the eldest daughter of the Lin family has been a musical genius since she was young. Which child of an aristocratic family hasn't been overshadowed by you? Hearing Ji Ro's words, Lin Yun smiled shyly. Ji Ro was a few years older than Lin Yun. If one were to say that Lin Yun was Ji Ro's childhood trauma, it would be better to say that Lin Cheng had packaged Lin Yun too dazzlingly. Although Lin Yun was very talented in music, without Lin Cheng's deliberate publicity, she would not have caused such a huge wave in the big clans. After all, every family had their own outstanding juniors. Ji Ro saw Lin Yun's shy smile and thought of Lin Yu's fake smile. She shook her head before she spoke. Are you willing to work with our orchestra? Lin Yun nodded and said, I'm very interested in your orchestra's style. Although it's not very respectful to the original author to privately adapt the piece, I was itching to do it, Ji Ro's smile deepened. No. You adapted it very well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here. Lin Yun smiled again. Thank you for your affirmation. Then. Do we have a chance to cooperate? Lin Yun asked again. Ji Ro nodded and said, Our band has been rehearsing a few programs recently and needs new ideas. It's best if you can work with us. Lin Yun extended her hand again. Then, happy to collaborate. Ji Ro also reached out to hold it. It will definitely be very pleasant. The two of them chatted for a while longer. Lin Yun raised her wrist to look at the time. I'm sorry, I still have something on later. I have to leave first. Are you going back to the banquet? Ji Ro guessed. Lin Yun had already stood up, but she paused. She gave her an amused smile. Is it? appropriate for me to go. Ji Ro was stunned for a moment before nodding in understanding. 
Then go ahead. I happen to have something to attend to. After the two of them separated, Lin Yun called a car and headed to the airport. The Lin family was especially busy today. As such, it impossible for the Lin family's car to be assigned to Lin Yun. Lin Yun arrived at the airport and waited for less than half an hour. She saw a foreigner with golden hair and a backpack running over from the entrance. Kent recognized Lin Yun immediately and rushed over to hug her. However, Lin Yun took two steps back and rejected Kent's enthusiasm. Although Kent was a little disappointed, he smiled broadly. Lin, finally. Lin Yun smiled back at Kent. It's been hard on you. The professor has already arranged a place for you to stay. Come with me. Kent shook his backpack before striding out with Lin Yun. Lin Yun was nearly 1.7 meters tall, but she stood beside Kent like a weak child. With his nearly 2.meter height and muscular body, Kent looked like the Hulk inside the Hulk. Lin Yun found it hard to imagine that the funny boy who liked to send naughty emojis for no reason actually looked like this. The two of them walked out of the airport and waited for the car that would pick them up. Is that Miss Lin? Ning Kuen looked at the familiar face in front of him and asked curiously. When Lu Chen heard this, he looked in the direction Ning Kuen pointed. Sure enough, Lin Yun was standing by the roadside chatting happily with a tall and strong foreign man. Lu Chen's expression became a little gloomy. Lin Yun did not feel Lu Chen's scrutinizing gaze. She only felt that Kent was too enthusiastic, causing her to be unable to adapt. Her heart was filled with hope that the car arranged by the professor would arrive as soon as possible. Fortunately, the car soon appeared in front of them. Lin Yun pulled Kent into the car.